continue! Yes! Welcome back for some more Rakugaki Showtime, and I'm your host, Cinnamon, and this fine fellow here I'm playing as is named Yukiwo. And these fine Johnnies here are named Ulta Johnny, as I kind of slipped that up. My speech is terrible, and we all know that. Boom! Cooking Robots Made Easy. Presented to you by Yukiwo. Or 10 minute cooking with smiley faces? I don't know. Yukiwo should have his own cooking show, because Asian cuisine is usually good tasting. And when I say that, I only mean chicken. Hey, look at that! I kind of broke the game, except not really. I just got him stuck in a black hole with a smiley ball, and now he's getting beaten senselessly by it. You tell him, smiley ball! We don't take crap from this place. This is... This is Yukiwo Restaurant Deluxe. And we'll be serving a fresh serving of... Dragon Ball Z ripoff? No! I don't know what. Shut up. Exactly. This fine fellow, or as I said in the last video, is John Caliber. I, uh, we called him Moy in the back because, well, that's who he liked to play as a lot when he used to like this game. See, as they taunt me, yet they will kind of get their ass kicked. So John Caliber, you can think of him as a... As a powered up version of the Zako, as he is. has the same moves, except he just does everything better and faster. So, basically. And where Zakos kind of suck, the positive thing about them is that they have quite a move set. They can do quite a few things. And they aren't that. they're actually. have a wide array of moves. So, when put in the hand of a pretty balanced character that has decent skills, he's actually really, really fun to play as. Oh, yes, you can block the balls and reflect them. Take this, Zako. And that was easy. But considering that, we played that on the, uh, we played this on an easy difficulty because I'm not doing as good as I usually do, but that's because I'm commentating right now. Yes, this is all your fault. And I believe we just upped the difficulty because that's what that message usually means. Oh, crap! And what a stage to up the difficulty! If you, you should be familiar, you may or may not be familiar with this lass. She is Morena! You know, from the game Mischief Makers, another game Treasure made. By the way, this game is made by Treasure, one of my favorites. They also made Gunstar Heroes. So yeah, a game I LP'd before. Morena can do the infamous Shake Shake, you know, if you played Mischief Makers. Oh, crap, don't get me caught! Oh, I'm getting hit by my own weapon. But we're not gonna let... She can power up things and even immediately get her special by sh using Shake Shake. She is what you would call God Tier. Except she's still has her disadvantages that she is rather slow and kind of clunky and kind of hard to control at first. And she doesn't have really that many physical attacks and she has to rely on throwing to get her way. But hell, that's the way it's been in Mischief Maker, so there you go. But that's okay, because we made quick work of her. I thought this level was going to be harder, because in the hardest difficulty, you fight against three of them. And oh shit! These cute little girls are named Lilo. They are the cute lowly character. Aw, aren't they so cute? You may be thinking. Yeah, I know. They're just so adorable. Let's just hug them in all their glory and just, like, cuddle with them. And s we'll share smiles and everything will be happy as we frolic in the roses. And everything will just be so fine and dandy. As she grabs onto the smiley ball as we try to throw it at other people. Yeah, they do that sometimes. Aren't they so cute as they pull in their smiley balls with this, their jolly little dandiness. Oh hey, let's look at their move. I bet it's something cute. Oh my god! As you can see here, this is Mamu, this fat little bastard. And she is not friendly. In fact, she is a nightmare in my opinion. She has given me nightmares and countless deaths and I don't know. She is the... She is literal... I can't... Ah! She has given me nightmares in the past. She is such a frightening woman. But we will do what we can to take out this big whale of a... 
pale thing. And as you can see, she beats me. Mamu has an insane amount of HP. All her moves do a ridiculous amount of damage. So, you know how to beat these girls? Don't let them get the smiley balls at any cost. Or else, like, that was scarier than Donkey Kong Country's Game Over screen. My god, let's just pretend the nightmare's over. No! No one steals my smiley balls, not even cute loli characters. And the nightmare is over, I hope. As we vaporize them all to milkshakes in one blow. Wasn't that jolly? And we up the difficulty because of that. I'm kind of scared. And here's our good friend, John Mark II, also known as Ultramoy, as we... as it's the super form of him. So as we see, John Caliber just couldn't take the funk of this... this disco club. So the Ultra Johnnies power him up into John Mark II! This guy is basically... the Ultra Johnnies version... or... Let me try to word this right. He, Ultra Johnny is to the, wait, John Mark II is as to the Ultra Johnnies as John Caliber is to Zako, as in he has the same moves as them, but they're just better. Except he has this move though, and I'm gonna get vaporized, but oh, this is, this is Ultra Johnny's special move where he just, the ball bounces around like crazy. This is hard difficulty, by the way, if you haven't noticed. There's a whole bunch of enemies we have to deal with, and they're all wailing on me. I'm not doing a very good job. I may concentrate a bit, if you don't mind. The game can be rather difficult. It ranges from rather easy to rather hard. Who got that? Oh shit. It is possible to grab the smiley ball before they activate it and steal their smiley. It's rather annoying when you do it in, against computers, but it's rather hilarious when you do it to friends. Alright! Let's hope we can get that entire mosh of enemies at one blow. Die! Oh, the rocket blocked it. Talk about a cock blocker. Suh! I died. My pencil has shattered. And the game has crashed. Error. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm playing through the game again, and I actually upped the difficulty a little earlier. Or else not, I don't remember. I think this is the optional path where you fight one of three enemies. So as you see this enemy, he may look like, hey, that looks like some guy named Cloud Jr. And yeah, that's actually what we named him. But anyway, this lad right here is, uh, I believe his name is Excalibur. And I decided to show him just because, hey, he's a different enemy. So why not show him just so we can fight as many enemies as possible? So anyway, he basically can't grab things. But he, to make up for that, he has one hell of a sword arm. He has many spells he can cast, many powerful moves, and he can even cause a nuclear explosion. But hey, that doesn't matter. We won. And while we're at it, why not just fight uh, this big cow? So we are on the higher difficulty. So on the higher difficulty in the area where we fight three Lilos, you end up fighting against a lone Mamu. And oh my god, is this going to be one hell of a battle. Because she does not take crap from anybody. Oh dear. And this is her special. She casts a kiss and blows it at us. Leaving us to run with our tail behind her back. As they say. It will cause a nuclear explosion. Destroying everything in the planet. So if we want to have our own safety. For you, the viewers, and myself. I suggest we don't touch that. While it is chasing after us. As you can see, she's also fast, and did I mention she can also fly? The computer never does this, but it is quite possible for her to fly. 
if you play as her, since she has unlimited double jumps. Considering one of her moves is just dropping on the ground, making a massive earthquake. I think we've almost got her on the ropes. Hadouken! Shinku Hadouken, that is. And we won! Hey, that's nifty. And I believe the next stage is the John Mark II, in which it was where we were. Hey, it is! Ain't that nifty. We've already seen this, so we can skip it. Hopefully this won't lag us out again or something. I don't know what the problem was last time. Alright. This is one of the difficult levels, just because, well, look at the number of people we're fighting. It's very overwhelming how this game can... How nice this game can be to you. No, don't go towards them. The sooner we can take out Ultra Johnny, the better. Or John Mark too, I mean. It's hard to mix them up, because it, it kind of seems like the robots should be called John Mark II, and the other ones should be called Ultra Johnny. I guess Sonic's just possessed my mind with the super Sonic-ness. Let's get them all in that little area and beat them with a the smiley ball. That'd be very nice. But of course we couldn't really do that, but hell, we're on a roll right now. We may actually win this. And take another bomb, because bombs are so good for mob clearing. Yes, this is online speak. We were talking about mobs. So what about them party quests, guys? Anyway. Ultra Johnny's must die. At any cost. Oh, God. That was very nice of them. Suck me into a black hole and then bomb me. Things are getting rather tense now. Mind if I concentrate? Sure, you don't get to answer that. One to go. And die! We actually won that. Congratulations me, I feel accomplished. Not that it's usually hard though, of course, because I'm the best at this game ever. Holy crap! Now we're in for a treat. That bird over there is named Chosuk. He can fly. That's pretty much all that he's useful for. Now we have to fight against Excalibur, Chosuk, and Morena. This is going to be crazy. I believe we named the bird... Uh... Hawk. Yes, we were very creative in naming him. He's rather fun to play as, but he's a pain in the ass to fight against. And that's the reason why. He hangs out in the air. But luckily, he took that hit for uh, Excalibur. But that's actually kind of a problem, considering Excalibur is, one of, is going to be one of our biggest problems. Considering his immersed strength. But I think if we stay away from him, we should all be good. Oh, crap. Marina's going to use her special. She throws a smiley ball and explodes into the mini ones. It's very basic. Basically, just a powerful throw attack. That goes really fast. Uh oh. Shinku Hadoken, as they would say. Marina, what have you done? Now the beam's gonna go crazy. But hey, she killed me. And I think that's another good stopping point. So, until next time, I'm Cinnamon a Minute, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.